I love AI art because it makes me money. I love AI art because it made me 175 bucks. Na 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 na. AI art, clip art, money. 175 bucks yesterday and 102 today and it's not even the end of the day guys let's keep it serious here okay i'm gonna show you what you just saw okay 100 dollar days 200 dollar days three 300 dollar days it's a maybe but i'm gonna show you how to make money by selling clip art and when you're gonna use ai to generate images for us that we can sell on etsy print money be happy be on vacation and do whatever else you want to do okay seriously guys i'm here to teach you all the good stuff you probably have seen my other videos where i showed you like the results of my ai etsy clip art store right if you haven't check it out right here today it's all instructional okay i put my glasses on this is all about business now okay class is in session let's go first thing first what is clip art well we have very good examples right here this is an example of a clip art okay so it's just an image of an object usually it's an animal or some creature or it can be a car a dog a person it doesn't really matter there's so many different clip art categories that you can go into it okay in our example right here we have this little christmas gnome okay when you go to etsy and type in clip art this is what you're gonna see so for example here we have a clip art of magical pink fairy butterflies okay here we have a nursery wood Woodland Hills clip art of these woodland animals. Here we have a flower clip art, okay, of flowers in a jar. Here's a Christmas one again. Here's a Toy Story one. Stay away from those, okay? You don't want to sell anything that's copyrighted, and this is copyrighted AF. Stay away from this type of stuff. Stick to something general, easy to, that's not Disney, Marvel, or any of these copyrighted products, okay? So that's what clip art is, and there's a bunch of reasons why people buy this. For example, very often clip art is purchased by teachers who use this for their classroom okay they print it out and do something with their kids in the class I, i'm not really sure what they use it for but teachers are buying clip art okay another reason why people buy clip art is because they maybe run brand on demand businesses where they want to have like a cool design and they can buy the clip art for you that they use for their design okay and also there might be just people that are into crafts and they just one of the cool objects that you can provide them. Now, the cool thing about this business is that you don't need to come up with the designs. I'm gonna show you how you can do it without being original, without having any technical skills, without having any Photoshop skills, because everything can be done. Well, maybe not everything, but most of the things can be done with AI. AI will create a design. You just kind of modify it here and there, and boom, you can list it on Etsy. And I guarantee you that most of the things you see right here were built with the help of AI. All of these clip arts that you see right here on the first page we're most likely built with the help of ai okay and since i have your attention right here right now i want to mention one thing okay listen i like you and i know you like my videos too i want you to join us on our discord go to dropspingil.com join our community join me join other people like us talk to me talk to other people that are into making money with etsy tiktok and other platforms there's so many things that we offer okay there's too many things i can mention in this video and i don't want to bore you but go to dropspingil.com to learn everything that you need to know about community on our discord and the trainings and the monthly prompts and all the other good stuff but now let's continue with our video okay so first thing first we need to figure out what type of clip art we want to sell okay and i'm gonna use this tool called everbee i love this tool guys you need to get everbee okay you need to get everbee otherwise you won't be able to start this business you need it for the product research purposes i have a link down below it's an affiliate link so i get a kit when you sign up but you also get a discount when you use it okay the reason being why you need everbee is because the method i'm gonna show you heavily relies on everbee so the first thing first what you're gonna do is you're just gonna type in the word clip art okay in the search bar and everbee is actually showing you monthly searches for that keyword so for example the word clip art has 1400 monthly searches okay which is okay it's an okay search so what you're gonna do now is we're just gonna click on clip art and this is where the magic happens okay we're gonna go to everbee be now we're gonna go to product analytics and this is very important okay what you're gonna do now is you're gonna click on search entire database so that way every listing that has a word has a keyword clip art in it we're gonna see it right now but we want to filter them out we only want to see the listings that are only less than two months old so where it says listing age and it says max we're just gonna put the number two so now we only gonna see all the new listings and we want to see what's the most popular right now so we're gonna sort them out by most popular now i have a list of the most popular new 
new clip art designs that we are going to analyze. So the logic here is that we want to get on the new trends and we want to see what is already selling. If something is already selling and it's new, that means that that trend is booming and we want to get on the trend right now as well. Okay, so the number one listing is like the inside out clip art uh, designs. We're not going to do that because again, this is a copyrighted territory. We want to stay away from this. Don't sell Disney characters. Don't sell Marvel, Star Wars, whatever. You're going to get banned for that. Okay, but here's another one. It's just like a Halloween boo ghost. Let's check it out. Let's see what are the the vibes right here. So this is the listing. Everybody is giving me stats about this listing. So this thing sold 562 times in the last month, which is a lot. Okay. That's a very high conversion rate of 9%. Very high. Tons of views tons of favorites and this is technically not even a clip art this is more of a print on demand design that people buy but that's okay because this person is using the keyword clip art in the title because you can technically sell this as well you don't really need to stick, stick to clip art per se so what i mean by that is like some people are very obsessed with having very 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 niche stores and i get it but like some niches you can combine them together so for example if you want to sell prints and clip art in one store on etsy that's fine because that's what i do as well so you could technically sell this design but let's actually find an actual clip art okay this this is just like a very very good product with that i would look into it as well but let's find the actual clip art okay so uh what is the next categories mega horror svg bundle okay we're not gonna do svgs because they require vectorization we don't want to do that but here for example is a clip art bundle that says for six dollars and five cents it got 55 monthly sales so far according to everby and just like a halloween bundle of bunch of watercolor clip art designs even shows you how people can use it. They can use it like for baby clothes. So I really like when they do that. You want to give your customers an examples of how they can use the clip art. So they kind of give them an idea of how it's going to look like in real life. And this is very simple, easy to replicate. I'm going to show you how you can re recreate something like this with the help of AI. To create something similar to that, we're going to use Midjourney. Midjourney is the AI image generator. At this point, you're probably familiar with Midjourney and ChatGPT and all of that. So you're going to need to get Midjourney plan. I think the cheapest one starts with $10. So get that one and then log into Midjourney. And I'm going to show you how to kind of create similar clip part to the one that we just saw. Okay, so what we're going to do is we will try to create something similar to this, right? So I'm going to take a screenshot, let's say, of this um, this cat sleeping on the pumpkins. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this because I need this as a reference for mid journey. And now I'm going to go to mid journey. And this is mid journey, guys. I'm going to go to create. This is where you create images. And I'm going to upload that screenshot of that cat that I just did. OK, here's the cat. I'm going to add it and now I'm going to give it the prompt. So I'm going to say watercolor black cat sleeping on pumpkins on a white background and check this out so now my journey is going to start working on four designs they're going to look similar to what i gave it okay so i give an example of what i wanted to look and here we go we got four designs that are very similar to the original one that i gave it okay like for example this one or this one super cute super easy and very similar to what we have now this is cool but we still need to remove background you see how it's white so this person is offering transparent background on these images. We need to make it transparent too. And I'm going to show you very easily how to do it. So I'm going to download this image and to remove background. There's a couple ways of doing it. For example, I use Photoshop because I use Photoshop for a lot of stuff in my life. But I know Photoshop can be pricey and people are usually scared with Photoshop because it's very technical. So I'm not going to show you how to use Photoshop, how to remove background in Photoshop. But I'm going to show you some couple other websites that you can use such as removebg.com and Canva or Kittle. So removebg.com is a free background removal. All you have to just upload the image. So I'm going to do this really quick. Drop it right here and the AI is going to automatically remove the background. So now this image is transparent. If you don't believe me, check this out. If I put it on a different background, as you can see, this thing is transparent, okay? Now, if you use Canva, this is actually good because in Canva and Ktool, you can increase the size of the image, which you wanna do because you wanna have at least 300 DPI. DPI is like a resolution of the image that people use for printing out. So you wanna give them good resolution. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a design and we're gonna create custom size and we're gonna do 4,000 by 4,000 pixels. Now I'm gonna drop my cat here, okay? And check this out. I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna click on edit image and I'm gonna do BG remover and boom, the cat is transparent. If you don't believe me, check this out. I'm gonna change the background of the design here. You see, 
it is transparent. The last background removal that I'm going to show you is Kittle. Kittle is basically like Canva, but it's better for, I would say, like print on demand stuff. So I'm going to click on new project. We're going to do the same thing as in Canva, 4000 by 4000. I'm going to drop my cat. We're going to make it full screen. They have AI background removal right here. And boom, it's transparent as well. Don't believe me, check this out. As you can see, it's transparent. So now, once you create your clip art images, what you can do is you can put them in a bundle. So what I used to do is I used to put them in the bundle of like 20 images and then sell the bundles itself. But recently, I just started selling singular clip art images because what I've noticed is like, most of the time people just want one image anyway, and they will buy it regardless if it's in the bundle or not. And creating one singular object clip art listings is way faster than creating the bundles. I don't know, I'm playing with this idea and so far, it's been working good but you can go to my older videos where I usually tell you to create them in the bundles do that and see how it goes so if you decide to put them in the bundle right there are two major important things when it comes to selling clip art number one is your main photo you want it to have it attractive to people so they the first thing they see is like oh yeah let me go buy it you make it have to attractive. So if it's, for example, a bundle, maybe create a bundle that looks like this. Okay, so they see all the images at once and they get an idea. Oh yeah, this this looks cute, this looks cute, this looks cute. You wanna put your best animals or objects, whatever you're trying to sell first, present them in a nice, aesthetic, cool way. So your conversion rate is very, gonna be very high. And then when it comes to titles, titles are the most important part of this whole project because titles is the part that people are gonna find them on Etsy, okay? This is the, the thing that people are gonna look for. So people like to overcomplicate this SEO stuff. In my opinion, it's not that complicated. I'll show you an easy trick to figure out what type of keywords you wanna put in the title, okay? And check this out, when I click on the search bar, right? Etsy is giving me all the keywords for this listing. So woodland animals clip art, boho woodland clip art, boho woodlands animals, boho forest animals. Like Etsy is giving you queries and suggested keywords for this listing, okay? Let's try with a different one. Let's try this fairy pink garden thing, okay? So I'm gonna click on it right here and check this out. Fairy garden clip art, fairy garden PNG, pink fairy clip art, fairy garden clip art, blah, blah, blah. Like Etsy is giving you the keywords that you can use for your listings. So just put those in the title and focus on a good presentation, good first image, and you should do well. And I can't wait to see how well you're gonna do, my friend, okay? Listen, if you wanna surround yourself with people that are into making clip art or other digital products, because again, I sell more stuff than just clip art on Etsy. I, I have so many videos about different stores that I do, print on demand, digital characters, clip art, digital paper, avatars. Like <laughs> there's so many different avenues that you can go with on Etsy. You can watch my other videos, but you can also join our community on dropshippingil.com and let the name don't discourage you, okay? We are called the dropshipping Yield, but we do way more than just the dropshipping, okay? We do TikTok affiliate. We we do the Etsy digital stuff, we do print on demand. There's a lot of people that are into this business, into e-commerce in general, okay? So if you wanna join us, go to dropshipping.com. I'm gonna be happy to see you there. I'm gonna be happy to welcome you. But that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoy this. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.